All right, I'm going to run through the math that you need to do converting newtons, kilograms, and pounds. So what we've got from the last um, from the last lecture notes is we should know that it's kilograms times 9.8 will give you your answer in newtons. So the first one is pretty easy. We just plug the 1 into kilograms and 1 times 9.8 does give you 9.8 newtons. So our first one, kilograms, 9.8 newtons. And sometimes we do use 10, but right now we're going for our exact numbers. Uh, working with 10, if you recognize that we're just moving decimal points around, you can recognize that if you have 10 times more kilograms, well, 10 times more than 9.8 would simply work out to be 10 times 9.8 and that works out to be 98 newtons. Boom. All right, so that's the first two. We're going to take a look at grams now. So in the last video we started to look at some of the conversions like a thousand grams equals one kilogram. Knowing that we can say 2,000 grams is two kilograms. 3,000 grams is 3 kilograms, 4,000 grams is 4 kilograms, 5,000 grams is 5 kilograms. Again, kilo means thousand, so instead of saying thousand, we say kilo. And then we are just plugging in what we've got up here, we work out to 5 times 9.8, and sure, you can use a calculator when you need to, ba boom, up swipe, calculator, and I'm just going to run a quick 5 times 9.8 equals, and I get 49 newtons. All right, weight in newtons of 100 grams. Again, we're doing grams to kilogram conversions. I did give you this one in the last slides, but again, if you know this piece, a thousand grams is one kilogram. If you move the decimal place, move the decimal place over one, you gotta do it on this side. So 100 grams equals 0.1 kilograms. I do like to put the zero in front just so that you notice the decimal point more. And when we've got that, we're back to kilograms times 9.8, and this time it's just 0 0.98 newtons. Uh, the last one, I changed it to pounds, um, and we're still dealing with grams. So we're back up to um, something similar to what we did up here. Kilo means thousand, so 1,000 grams is one kilogram. And then I gave you the conversion that, um, whoops, it's not pounds times 9.8, um, we'll raise our button. If you take the kilograms and multiply it by 2.2, that's how you get your pounds. That's our conversion. So one times 2.2, is simply 2.2 pounds. Um, and one of the nice things about the metric system is they like to use their, their, their values are usually based on something. So one liter of water has a mass of one kilogram, has a weight of 2.2 pounds. So that's a nice conversion. So this is just a look at some of the math, review it for whatever you need. There will be some um, quiz questions coming up for these. Uh, so review it, make sure you can do some of these if you have questions. That's what class is for, class is for questions.